In this video, we're going to look at using the Sage Journal database to refine your searches uh, using keyword searches to help you better identify topics to support your assignments. You can access Sage through the main library website. Just go to the databases and online resources menu, go down to academic databases. And then you just scroll a little way down the page and select Sage. Click on the access Sage button there. To log in, go click on the institution button there at the top of the page, then click on access your institution, select Ireland, educate, and then you'll see Griffith College there in the list. Once you're logged in, you're logged in for each session. Just log in with your Moodle password there, and then you're good to go. Now, just be sure when you're using any academic databases that you go to the advanced search option. So that's what we're going to use in this demonstration. And what it's going to do is it's going to help you discover much more easily relevant topics, uh, relevant journal articles and information to help you in your assignments. So what we're going to do is, is we're going to put some terms into these boxes here, interior architecture and green, and let's see. Now, loads of results there, that's great, over 3,000, but on the other hand, it really is too many for you to be looking through. So if you click on research article, that's just going to show us articles. You can also change the date. You really only need the last couple of years, okay, the last five years, I would say, generally. We'll talk more on that in a moment. Okay, so we're down to 503. That still is really too many. We can add in another search term to make it more specific. So let's say we're doing a project on schools down to 341, much more manageable, and we're getting much closer to the kind of information that we need. So what you can do is when you click into an article, what I would say is just have a quick look at the abstract first and just make sure that it is as relevant as you thought to your topic. And also keep an eye on any keywords that you might be presented with, because you can use that in your writing. You can also put them back into the search boxes for another more refined search. Another advantage is, by using these databases is that you'll often see examples of Harvard referencing. So that'll really help you get an idea about the kind of writing that your lecturers are looking for and expecting to see in your assignments. The referencing and the bibliography at the end of um, a journal article can be very useful too. And if you see here, actually look at this example now from 1979. So this author has shown that this is still relevant likely. OK, so just there's a great link here, actually, see to Google Scholar. Look, and you can see that it's done 54,000 plus times. That's been cited, so it's likely a very seminal article. Another useful way of narrowing your search is, is rather than by searching anywhere in the entire article for the appearance of these terms, you can limit it to searching just in the abstract. So I'll just click on abstract there for interior architecture. And it's only going to look for that phrase in the abstract, which is the description of an article. So it's much more likely to have a more relevance to you. So you can mix and match those. You can do different versions and have slightly different results. There is no one perfect search just to make that point. OK, so you're going in and out and trying different versions. So I hope you found that useful. And um, so just to recap, we went into the advanced search of the database and we built up the search there using text boxes using short phrases or keywords and um, if you get a lot of results you can limit your searches and um, by academic source or peer-reviewed and um, also by date uh, you're looking for more recent articles and um, older articles obviously seminal articles are important but uh, very often you see them being referred to in the journal articles that you're reading you can also take guidance from your lecture notes as to which ones you should be looking to there